All right, among all the other junk I have on my desk, I have these three wooden discs. Well, I mean, they're MDF, so it's like fake wood, right? But, all right, so this one is roughly 165 millimeter diameter. This one's 105, it says, and this one is about 95. Now, the only uh, one that matters is this one for the diameter because I got these uh, tiny neopixels right here and they are five millimeters apart and I have 60 of them on this thing so they have to so this disc has to fit this exactly so that I end up with a five millimeter gap on my neopixels is that coming into focus Let's see. Anyway, you'll see. You'll get the picture. Anyway, so that goes there. All right, so this, now what I did is I painted these black, uh, white. I got a place for the cord. I got some USB wire right here. And I also have an ESP32 Mini that I rescued from another project. So that's, and then these are just some little indexes right here. So that's going to go down. I'll have the cord coming into here, and then this will go like that, or more or less like that. And then these will wrap around here, like this, all right? There'll be an ESP32 in there. Those will be wrapped around there, and then this will go on top. And we'll have 60 LEDs that we can use to make a clock. So let's see what happens. All right, step one. I put the disc, the middle disc on there. And let's get it focused. All right, you can see I soldered the wires on there. And they go through that slot and they come out back here. Yep, back here. Got it focused. All right, and then on this strip, get focused. All right, I put a dab of glue right here, and then I stretched it tight all the way around, and there's a dab of glue right there. So that's all that's holding this thing on. Okay, so now we'll go to the back side here, and we'll put in the ESP32. All right, I got the basic solder up done. So I've got our, you know, this is an old USB cable and it's got our programming terminals on the end. Okay, so it's coming up here and I've got power split off here, goes to the ESP32 and then out to the neopixels down underneath there and then this is the programming so you got a, a tx and a rx for programming that comes up here to the esp all right so and then there so there's the wires going through that crack up to there all right so the next step is to do a basic test make sure everything's working then we'll put this in place then we'll put the face on there then we'll hang it on the wall and start programming it all right i plug this in to uh usb adapter usb to serial adapter and we've got action can you guess where i borrowed that esp from yes the Christmas tree so all right that looks like we can go ahead and button this thing all up put the front face on we'll go ahead and hang it up on the wall and start doing some testing all right so just for testing I got this just taped in there where it won't fall out and I got the cover on there so it kind of hides those neopixels we might have to brighten those things up a little bit and let me turn the 
All right, that looks a little better. A little shadow going here. All right, so we're going up on the wall. And we'll start, see if we can get some programming going. All right, it's many, many weeks later. And so what I have changed is adding these holes around here so you could tell what time it is a little bit better. I've done the programming, got it basically set up, and then I put the sticker on the front. So the back of it now looks like this. I had to route my cord around the, the hole so that it wouldn't show. But everything else about the same. I've got it set up here on the wall. Try to get it. Well, anyway, I'll get it straight and then I'll try to get some good pictures. It's always hard to, uh, it's always hard to video NeoPixels and make them look right. But anyway, let's see what we can do. So when I look up at this from my desk, I, the colors are really nice. Uh, but uh, on here, I can't, I just can't get the colors to look right. So I've been messing around with uh, with this and you know when when the background looks like that the, these colors are washed out so you know it's it's easy to see this I've got a little bit of a background color around the edge there and then the, the blue is the minute hand red is the hour hand um, so it's it's fairly easy to see here it just close to here where it's bright it just washes out so but anyway this is the basic setup so you've got your green as the second hand there is a little bit of green background it's like on setting one of the NeoPixel then the green goes around uh, you've got blue for minute red for hour and then when they go on top of each other the colors actually combine together so we'd have to look now watch the blue move when it hits the 12 o'clock right here should be yep there it goes and then you'll see as the blue as this comes down let me see if I can no nah, I won't adjust the colors and see these com colors will combine together so that the reason I do that combine them is so that you don't get a shocking uh, change when you when one color blanks out the other color but anyway um, it's pretty much what it looks like huh? I just can't adjust this to where the colors look as nice as they do in person it's just it just doesn't work on the camera these it whites out where the colors are bright so anyway so that's about it. That's what it looks like. It's pretty cool on the wall. And if you are interested in the code, then you can go to uh, GitLab right there. Find me on GitLab. And let's see, it's going to be in MicroPython and Circle Clock. And the only one that you, well, you may need to change the config and put in your uh, stuff for your uh, Wi-Fi because it needs Wi-Fi to get the time and whatnot and then you may want to work um, in main this is where I set the colors that I'm using uh, it's, eh, I mean unless you want to just reprogram the whole thing you can do that as well but uh, all the all the stuff is really happening right there the only thing that the there is a, a library so uh, here's where this is the pixel controller right here um, so you can you may want to mess around with that and then there's the the land stuff right there Wi-Fi junk but anyway there it is circle clock uh, you can fool around with it